Summers can be hot, often dry, and make it challenging for you to keep your garden looking its best all summer long. The first step in success is matching the plant to the growing condition. I'm here at Pasquazi and I've got a wide selection of perennials suitable for our summer conditions. Putting the right plant in the growing conditions means less water, less work, and beautiful flowers all season long. One of my favorites are the catnips. Now you may have grown some of the older varieties that take over the garden. Look for some of the newer varieties that are clumpers. They tolerate hot, dry conditions. The bees love them. And if they do get a little floppy midsummer, give them a haircut and you're good to go. The foliage smells great as well. Veronica's speedwells are a nice vertical accent in the garden. They come in whites and pinks, reds and lavender like you see here. Long bloomers, great as cut flowers. The butterflies love these as well as the bees and look great in the garden. Minimal deadheading to keep them blooming even longer. You may recognize the bee balm, but might be surprised to find it's a lot shorter. Lots of new varieties that are not only mildew resistant, but they also are shorter in stature. And what I like about the shorter varieties, I can keep them towards the front of the garden so I can watch the bees, the butterflies, and hummingbirds come to visit the flowers. And that foliage smells great. So if you need to do a bit of thinning, you get a little of aromatherapy as well. Now, a lot of you may be growing our native coneflower. It's probably the most popular native plant in the gardens across the United States. But what about these unusual varieties? Beautiful, unique flowers, different flower colors. They add that bit of pizzazz to the garden. When I was a small space gardener, I loved to put plants that made people stop and go, oh, is that cool? Even now that I have more room, I'm still looking for that opportunity. You might too. So different flower shapes and unique colors as well, just to add a little extra interest to your summer garden. And don't forget about the birds that feed on those seeds. Coreopsis, I like the threadleaf Coreopsis because not only do we have these beautiful flowers, we've got this nice fine foliage that looks good all season. Deadheading, really not an issue. If it ever needs deadheading, it's time to dig and divide. That seems to invigorate the plant and that means less deadheading. That's all good for me. Jethro Tall is another Coreopsis. You can see it's a little more golden yellow, older leaves, a little nice compact variety. I had some of this in my garden that was accidentally weeded out, and so it's time to replace it. And I love the name Jethro Tall. You can tell the way are the plant breeders, their age and their music interest by many of the new introductions. Yarrow, a traditional favorite, good for hot, dry conditions, nice fine foliage. I've seen this plant growing between a sidewalk and a driveway, blooming and thriving. Great cut flower, great for the bees as well. So look for those that are suited to the size that you have available in your landscape. Last but not least, Stachys humulo. This is a perennial plant of the year, selected by Perennial Plant Association members for its low maintenance, its adaptability, and its beautiful blooms. You may know its relative lamb's ear, grown for the leaves. This is grown for the beautiful flowers. Now, whatever plant you select, you wanna make sure you check the tag. It'll tell you the size, the growing condition, so you're sure to give it enough space. And when you're out in your garden this summer, be sure to take care of yourself as well. Wear a floppy hat, use some sunscreen, and be sure to hydrate. And stop by Pasquazi. The staff here is experts in their field, and they'll be glad to help you find the best plants for your garden.